Hello, welcome to our HP 11 G8EE motherboard replacement tutorial. To get started today, you'll need a few tools. A spudger, manual screwdriver, and a static mat. Step 1. Unscrew the six bottom cover screws. Step 2. Using your spudger, carefully pry up the palm rest, starting in one corner and working your way around the perimeter, unsnapping all the clips. Power off the unit if it happens to power on. Step 3. Peel back the black adhesive strip covering the battery connection. Step 4. Disconnect the battery cable. Step 5. Peel back the clear adhesive covering the touchpad connection. Step 6. Disconnect the touchpad ribbon. Step 7. Peel back the clear adhesive covering the keyboard connection. Step 8. Disconnect the keyboard ribbon. Step 9. Remove the palm rest. Step 10. Remove the adhesive from the LVDS cable. Step 11. Disconnect the LVDS cable. Step 12. Remove the adhesive from the speaker cable. Step 13. Disconnect the speaker cable. Step 14. Remove the adhesive covering the data ribbons. Step 15. Disconnect both data ribbons. Step 16. Remove the adhesive covering the Wi-Fi card. Step 17. Unscrew and remove the Wi-Fi cover plate. Step 18. Carefully remove the Wi-Fi card. Step 19. Lift up the adhesive strip covering the webcam and disconnect. Step 20. Remove the six motherboard screws. Step 21. While partially lifting the motherboard, disconnect the USB-C power cable found underneath. Step 22. Carefully remove the motherboard. Step 23. Position the replacement motherboard aligned with the corresponding ports and screw mounts. Step 24. Reconnect the USB-C power cable into the replacement motherboard. Step 25. Reinstall the six motherboard screws. Step 26. 
Step 26. Reconnect the webcam cable and reapply the adhesive covering. Step 27. Reinstall the Wi-Fi card. Step 28. Replace the Wi-Fi screw and cover plate. Step 29. Replace the adhesive covering the Wi-Fi card. Step 30. Reconnect both data ribbons. Step 31. Reapply the adhesive covering the data ribbons. Step 32. Reconnect the speaker cable. Step 33. Reapply the adhesive over the speaker cable. Step 34. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Step 35. Reapply the adhesive covering the LVDS cable. Step 36. Reposition the palm rest. Step 37. Reconnect the keyboard ribbon. Step 38. Reapply the clear adhesive covering the keyboard connection. Step 39. Reconnect the touchpad ribbon. Step 40. Reapply the clear adhesive covering the touchpad connection. Step 41. Reconnect the battery cable. Step 42. Reapply the black adhesive covering the battery connection. Step 43. Reinstall the palm rest, making sure that it is fully snapped into place around the perimeter. Step 44. Power on the unit to verify a successful repair. Step 45, power off the unit. Step 46, reinstall the six bottom cover screws. And now your repair is complete. Thank you for watching this video today. If you have any questions or need further information, we would always love to hear from you. You can contact us directly via our website at agpartseducation.com.